Hello everybody, I'm Artillery J. Welcome back to Maze on your Wednesday uh, morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching this. Uh, last episode, we had made it into this chamber here, underground. We came down through this uh, lift here, at least I think it was a lift. And um, the audio was broken last episode, so I'm hoping that it's fixed now. Um, I can hear it quite well, personally. Um, I'm just hoping that you can hear it as well. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and click on some things here. My God, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt. Cordially, Ted. Hey, Ted. Don't worry. I got a good deal on it. Commission these... Stairs, oh, statues in bulk. I think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big money maker for us, Bob. And uh, the reason that I was having so much trouble reading that is because I was reading in o the uh, screen on OBS and not the actual game screen. So sorry about that, Bob. You are so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't host any tours, moron. Cordially, Ted. And don't think I didn't notice you put one near the farmhouse. Repeat, classified. Put it away, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Okay. Uh, brochure. Um, let's see if I can remember how to do that. That was... Ah. Space bar. I remembered. <laughs> A flashy brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted, except for the walking sentient corn on the front. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Um, painted portrait. Um... Bob P. McTavish, Ph.D., M.A., B.S.C., D.O.P., Esquire, Founder. Can't tell what that little symbol is right there. But. Is that all that I have for items? Yes, so. So just the English muffin. Ted Smith, co-founder. Okay. Sure. Whoa. What the heck was that? Like a giant mud slug or something. Okay. Don't know where that thing went, but... Let's explore this. Hiya, Ted. The fish shipment should be arriving today. Could you be a pal and put them in the tanks for me? Thanks, Bob. Bob, you dummy. There are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding these fish will cost? Cordially, Ted. Okay. So, I don't know that... Bob really realizes how much Ted seems to hate him. Um, more boxes here. So I can't get through those. Oh, there's a thing. Cheap jump shoot. Jump suit. Not sure what I need to do with it, but I've got it. Coat rack. Also something that I don't know what I need to do with. A warfare readiness report. Okay, uh, appears to be the report of the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising 
raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme on many reports involving the corn. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So they're not a danger? Question mark? Okay, it looks like that might be it for this room. I don't see anything else that I can interact with. Okay, so I'm guessing that I'm done here. So let's head back in this direction. Where can I? Oh, okay. So I've got a coat rack, a jumpsuit, and I've still got that biscuit thing. So, I don't want to run all the way back there to try and see if that works. So I'm just going to go this way. And remember that there was a door back there as well. There was also that painting that I was supposed to be able to interact with some way or fashion. Check down this way. Whoa. This is a fun room. Um. Okay. Hey, corn. Uh, we are going to have a ball. And then it looks like it's a bunch of kids' names. There's the alphabet. There's a teddy bear. There's a child's block, which was added to the folio. It is a nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers, and you spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually, you sort it out, but the number five still fools you every now and then. Yes, stupid number five. Okay, so. Um, doesn't look like I can, I can do anything with those. Uh, Bobby Lazy Buffoon, I know you're spending all of your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. Cordially, Ted. And also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here. Half wit. Cordially, Ted. Because it serves a purpose, Ted. Scarecrow. Corns. There's got to be something here that... I mean, it's got to serve a purpose of some sort, right? Um, aside from the teddy bear. Okay, nothing there. Uh, be active, be inspired, be happy, be smart, be kind, be healthy, be brave, responsible, funny, friendly, safe, respectful, helpful, prepared, creative, and of course, be you. That's what it's all about, folks. Just be yourself. If you want to you want to paint a little happy tree up in the corner it's your world just do it oh, that was weird oh, I had a pop up on my screen I was wondering what why that happened um, the bell oh, added to the folio Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession. And yet you somehow and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. Oh, that's because I'm I'm strong, but uh not I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, I, I have strength but not endurance. Sounds about right. Sure. Okay, um, I missed the door back here, so I might as well go back and check it out. It was before this. Before this. Because it looks like that way back there is where I need to start, or where I need to head to. Oh. Um, teddy bear. What the what? Um.
looks like there's other things that need to go on here. Okay, so I need to find the rest of the stuff. Item can be placed there. It looks like a keyboard. Um, turn on power strip. That. Okay. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Um, Uncrouch. Thank you. Alright, so... There's definitely a few more things that I need. This junction. Oh, got that. Bob, you disgusting slob. Don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here. Gluten. Cordially, Ted. Okay. Gluten. Okay, that looks like something that probably goes on the on the robot thing. Bob, you jerk, put my ram back where it was. I know you took it and hid it in that stupid spot of yours. Bring it back here, cordially, Ted. Uh, door guidebook. Jeez, there's a whole bunch of stuff there I need to read. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant bats and mostly repeat the refrain that the bats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large bats. Cool. Alright, so this can go, I think, right there. Yes. And this can go there. Alright. Now let's read this. Hi, it's Ted. The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. Think it's real. It'll really boost the tour. And you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first, Bob. Safety first, Bob. Bob, first, you are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. Cordially, Ted. Third, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Remember? As in same title, jerk. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front, Bob. Good God, Bob. Do you have do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures, moron? Cordially, Ted. And, of course, another brochure. Okay, so. I uh, got the keyboard on the thing. I got the thing on the thing. I, it looks like I need two more things for the things. So, let's head this way. What? Whoa. Are you glass? Okay, you're glass. I can walk on you. I can safely walk on you. That was, that was the concern. Whether I can do it safely or not. Alright. Um... Anything I can interact with. More post-its. A whole lot of post-its. Hiya, Ted. Noticed you that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks. It had a little blemish on it. No sweat, though. Here's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you? Would you please? Bob. Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? Cordially, Ted. And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cordially, Ted. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I like these two. I like Bob and Ted. Uh, okay, up the stairs we go. This room's a wreck. Um, like, get the cleaning crew. There's another one of those paintings there. Um, wait. Oh, another post-it. Bob, you disgusting slob. Until you've cleaned up after yourself, I'm blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling the hazmat team every week. Moan, cordially dead. Okay, so... Um, military backpack. Sure. Oh, I think that goes with that, uh, whatever it is that we're building with the bear down there as well. I don't see anything else in here that I can mess with. For now. So let's head back down. And 
I got something this way that I might be able to find. The hallway here. Let us pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm. Interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since the tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. Interesting. Um, a memo from the US government direct directed to a secret research facility name of which is redact redacted am i reading that right i don't think i am it contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget the year on the memo is 1983 schedule a schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff most notably are the shifts for the two founders, they are completely opposite of each other. So, either working to uh, working opposite shifts because they can't stand each other, or so that one of them can always be here. Uh, an etch a sketch. Okay. Memo there. It looks like. Let's read this one. The invoice for this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial cap culpability. Which, there's the memo if I can get up to it. Um, there we go. Bob, I... I don't know how you managed to copy my bathroom key, but good God, how many cheeseburgers do you eat, you slob? Cordially, Ted. Okay. Don't see anything else that could be in here. So let's go ahead and head back down. We'll throw this thing on to the uh, teddy bear thing. Um, and then move along uh, down the other corridor that we have not explored yet. So this goes there. Where are you? Maybe I can stab somebody with this. If they get in my way, take them out. Alright, so there's a door here that I haven't been in. Not sure that I'm going to be able to go into it, but... It's there. Alright, let's head down. We have not explored this direction here. Uh, aside from the weight room. The weight room we checked. Um, Alright. Trumpet test report. The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. It explains the very promising results after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. And it was a triumphant test report, not a trumpet test report. But the word trumpet was also in the report itself. So I don't feel as bad for um, mixing up the words, because obviously that's something that they were kind of going for. A sweatband. Disgusting. So this box is out of the corner of my eye, and it kind of scared me a little bit. Rock. Now, I was under the impression that this game was supposed to be kind of scary, but um, it doesn't really seem like it, does it? Alright, what's, what's up with the rock? Run of the mill rock with no defining features whatsoever to discern it from the billions of other rocks currently in existence. His name is Mabel. Hey, Mabel. Okay, so 
I'm not going to be able to get through there yet. So let's head back. Because um, chances are there's something that I still need to do. Alright, so. Um, only two options. Go back out to the lobby and mess with the painting. And go back to the bear and mess with the one missing item. To see if I can figure out uh, if I have the item or not. So, let's head over here first. It is kind of on the way, so. Um. Ah. Use portrait to as inspiration for the worst facial something yada yada yada. Okay. Okay, so I interacted with that. So now I, I guess I've got his portrait. I guess. Honestly, I don't know. Not really sure what I need to do with it. I'm sure, I'll find out though. a small screwdriver. So now I've got that. Um, invoice for a large jumpsuit. Invoice for an order of military grade jumpsuits at a heavy markdown from the original cost. All apparently had the name M Mitchell embroidered across the breast. The only they on and only come in size uh, XXXXL, the word defective appears a few times in very small print. So, some defective jumpsuits. Okay. Oh, good. An area that I can get to and not get out of. Be right back. Okay, good to go. Um, yeah, so. Bu, 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 bu. Feel like. Man, I gotta be missing something. Oh, the cheeseburger wrapper. Uh. Originated from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper proudly proclaims now 100% salmonella free. <laughs> there are no ex exaggeration. There are no exaggeration. Thousands of cheese wrappers littering the facility, but a very fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. Okay, so I got I got a. Uh, cheese wrapper um, cool see there's this door here I don't know what to do with it or if I can even do anything with it it's hard to tell just trying to keep my eyes open for anything that I might have missed okay, that's the kids room oh an extremely obvious fake panel Jeez. oh I'm an idiot uh, hiya Ted, just a heads up, I put your ram right here, this way it gets less dusty, Bob. <sighs> okay, well, is this, is this what I needed? Probably. Not really sure how many times I walked past that and did not see it right there. Okay, um, yeah, is this what goes here? No. Does it go here? It does. Old computer has been upgraded. It's not your best work. Oh, gotcha. Okay, fair Whoa. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladis' face? Why you not talk? Uh, 
Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying. But so boy, you're a big idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> oh. Why grai so many? Huh? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. It's a grabber. All of this is very stupid. Agreed. <sighs> so, where we go? No, I cl no clue. You have acquired Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. Okay. Um, so I now have a Russian Teddy Ruxpin. Um, that doesn't like me. Apparently. Um, and he's just gonna follow me around? Is that, is that what we're doing? It's kinda creepy. Ah, get away from me, you freak. Alright, whoa. Uh-oh. We need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my god, what is that? What is... what is Plant saying? Is that a... It is. It's a helicopter! What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug, what's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi! Chitanya Vesela! What a rude contraption! Well, if you're just gonna be like that... Okay. Oh, right! We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladdy does not like it here. Okay, Vladdy. Alright. Okay, uh... On that note... I'm not sure how much of this thing I'm going to cut out because I did a whole lot of running around to try to figure this out. Um, so it will probably be quite a bit. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, next episode, I guess we're going to go down, uh, back down there and check out the shower. Uh, hopefully the boxes will be removed and we'll be able to move forward a little bit. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope, I hope that you're enjoying this silly little game that we found on Steam. And uh, I encourage you to check the description below and pick it up for yourself if you want to try it out. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye!